Honourable Member for Regina Louvain. Madam Speaker, steel mills in Regina and across Canada have been hit by layoffs. The Minister of Procurement told committee that just 19% of the steel in the new Champlain Bridge will be made in Canada. She couldn't tell us whether Canadian or offshore steel will be used in the Alaska Highway, the Alexandria Bridge, or other major federal infrastructure projects. What will the government do to encourage the procurement of Canadian steel to support good jobs in our communities? The, the Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. This government is committed to open and transparent competitions that balance the socio-economic needs of this government and this country with those of the industry that we have in this country. So we are committed to looking at that and understanding what the best balance in those procurements will be. Thank you. The R, a member for Hamilton Mountain. Madam Speaker, steelworkers in Hamilton and other communities across Canada have suffered from the economic downturn and foreign takeovers also from the unfair competition with subsidized foreign steel. This week, the U.S. imposed a five-fold increase in tariffs on Chinese cold road flat steel due to the unfair sub subsidies and dumping. But in Canada, all we get are consultations. When will we see real action and the Liberals to stop steel dumping and protect good Canadian jobs? Here, here, here. The Honourable Minister. Madam Speaker, I am very seized of the issue and very share very much these concerns about Chinese steel dumping. I have been consulting actively, including most recently in Arequipa, Peru, where I was at the APEC Trade Minister's meeting. We are working hard, particularly with our EU and U.S. counterparts on this issue. It is an urgent matter for Canadians, and we're working towards a solution. Go to Mr. Weir for seven minutes, please. Well, thank you, uh, Madam Minister. Canada's uh, steel industry is struggling against the tide of offshore steel dumped into our market. Uh, earlier this month, uh, there were more layoffs at the uh, Everaz Steel Mill at the north end of my riding. Uh, producing a ton of steel in Canada with relatively clean energy and uh, strong environmental standards emits far less carbon than producing it offshore. Uh, a further environmental advantage of using Canadian-made steel in Canada is that it minimizes the emissions from transporting the steel. In the main estimates, your department is seeking funding to undertake improvements to federal buildings, the Alaska Highway, the Esquimalt uh, Graving Dock, and the Alexandra Bridge here in Ottawa. Will these projects be completed using Canadian-made steel? There's been no decision made on um Make, uh, on having all Canadian-made steel used in these projects. Uh, there's a variety of steel that's used, Canadian steel as well as steel that's imported. Uh, no decision has been made at this point on whether or not to go with just Canadian steel. Okay, well, last time that you appeared before our committee, I asked you about steel for the new Champlain Bridge, a huge federal infrastructure project. Uh, your department's written response indicates that 19% of the steel will be made in Canada. Uh, do you believe that that's an appropriate percentage? And if not, what steps will you take to source more of the steel from our country? That's certainly something that we're looking at as a department. I think it's important for us uh, in light of the steel industry, and you've already referenced it. We've had representation from other members of parliament as well. It's important for us to look at opportunities to maximize benefits for Canadians. Uh, so that in, that's on a number of fronts, including on the, uh, on the use of Canadian-made steel.